Welcome to Star Citizen. Is Caterpillar still alive or did it actually get smushed by the big boy C2? Before Crusader Industries was a thing in this game, this used to be one of your go-to ships to do actual trading. It used to be quite reliable, it has its neat little look and of course since it's a trade ship it looks rugged rough and ready. But ever since the Crusader Hercules series this ship has had a competitor and the C2 variant has really outperformed this ship. To make it simple, here are pure stats. As we can see, the Caterpillar is significantly weaker, significantly slower, can't go as far and does not have as much health. They are same size ships, roughly fall into the same category, but they have so massive stat differences. Only thing the Caterpillar has over C2 Hercules is it has more firepower, it's got two turrets, while the C2 has none. The only weapons are under pilot's control. But if we take a look at the other variants of Hercules series, those have even more firepower than the Caterpillar. If we want to talk about outdated ships, I think this is an excellent comparison. I would have nothing against this ship with this firepower, with this loadout, if it would have more health. Let's say it would be maneuverable, it could have more quantum fuel. Sadly, there is no way I would see the Caterpillar come on top. Okay, C2, let's say I put two guys in turrets. C2 fights against me, yeah sure, I can win, I have more firepower. But then again, we can take M2. M2 has roughly the same amount of space, has more firepower, better turrets, and can just decimate it. I really don't want to dump it all on this ship, but it is... it was one of the first bigger ships. And it is really outdated and could use a tremendous rework. Even if they would just boost the stats to be on bar with the Hercules series, I think that would be a great change. Give it more quantum fuel, perhaps even better maneuverability. With everything that's been added, tweaked, changed, I feel like this ship has truly been left in the dark to stand in there, just as the C2 makes everyone forget about it or just ignore it. It was truly a tremendous ship for its time. It was the go-to ship to do your trading. It was something to do. It was the bigger ship. It was the big boy. Now it's just forgotten by most players. Well, perhaps avoid it. I did like its interior, but I do hate how they've stacked up all these containers in this ship. It has a lot of crew space, which is truly fun if you plan to go exploring with your friends, but you can't really take much with you because the lift on this ship and the little airlocks, they block you from storing massive amounts of vehicles in here. Now, of course, this ship will get changed. There's been some talk about it, there's been some videos, their plans, ideas. The question is, how much better will they make it? Will they bring it to the bar with C2? The best I can see done with this ship is improve its firepower, given more health stats and so, perhaps even reorganize the cargo, but I believe that could limit what this ship can carry. Since it's a Drake ship, nobody wants to forget about it. It's got that right type of look, that rugged, rough uh, beast for your jobs. But for now, we are sadly stuck with a beautiful ship, beautiful interior, exterior, something you would expect from Drake, and we don't really have it as a contender for other same level ships. We can bring here the C2, M2, and considering firepower, even A2. At the moment, it's just one of those sad ships that needs some love, and perhaps one day it will be something to contend with the same tier ships. But for now, I suggest avoiding it, going for the C2, A2 or M2, but if you truly like the feel and the look and you plan to do cargo runs, I guess this is okay as well. Anyway, thanks for watching.